Welcome to the 6 a.m. watch. For this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Lord God, we just thank you for this day, Lord. And I pray over this word, Lord God. May you have your good and perfect way in this word today. May you touch our hearts. Father, may your heart be shared in this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The teaching today is alive unto God. And it is the season of the lilies. Here in New England, the lilies are trumping. You drive around the neighborhoods and it's the lilies. The lilies are, are blooming this season and they are singing their song. And when you see these tiger lilies, they're usually planted in like groupings. And so you drive by and you see them all trumpeting, all extolling the Lord, all glorifying the Lord. And it's something to behold. Um, there's not only the tiger lilies, but there's the day lilies. They're all opening, all blooming, all just praising the Lord, extolling him. Hallelujah. The hydrangeas are there also. Hydrangeas are right there. But this morning, it, it was definitely the tiger lily. It was the lilies that are trumping. Hallelujah. And you know, God, God, God enjoys all of his creations. <laughs> and I just believe he looks down and he's like, yeah, it's the season of my lilies. Hallelujah. They're so glorious. I hope that you're enjoying them um, wherever you live <laughs> because I'm so enjoying their beauty. Their beauty, it's like um, they're shaped like a trumpet. And um, it just reminded me of, of that verse in Song of Solomon in 513. It says, his cheeks are as a bed of spices, as sweet flowers, his lips like lilies, dropping sweet smelling myrrh. These words that he speaks to us, those love words, those intimate words that he speaks to you, like sweet smelling myrrh. And when we go to his word, we get the honey from the rock, from our living Jesus, the living word. And as we read the word, it's like that sweet smelling myrrh. It's alive. His word is alive. Just like these lilies, when they're open, they're alive, they're extolling God, they're praising him. And you know, at night, they close back up. And then I love to watch them. I do more, I, I, I just kind of, when I go by, I like to watch them around like, you know, when the, stack, when the sun starts coming, they, they slowly open back up. It's like, almost like they pray during the night and then they, they come open during the day. And um, I know they're just beautiful to behold. Hallelujah. Okay, um, the scripture this morning is in Romans. Romans 6, 5 to 6. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. This word planted just jumped out of the page to me, for we have been planted together. Like the lily, you know, it's planted in the earth and it dies back. In the winter, it goes back into the ground and it's dormant. It's dormant for the winter. And then it resurrects in the spring and it blossoms in the summer. And you know, in the summertime, it only blossoms for a short season. But when we got baptized, when we got baptized in, in the water, when we got submerged in the water, we died to sin and we were we were dead 
with Jesus. We were dead to sin and we came up newness, newness of life. We came up as the new man in newness of life, alive, alive in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And by faith, we received that, didn't we, when we got baptized? By faith, we receive it. And by faith, we live it out. Hallelujah. Walking intentionally in our newness of life. Walking intentionally in our new man. Knowing that we are dead to sin. And alive in Christ. Alive in the Holy Spirit. Alive. Hallelujah. Romans 6, 10 to 11. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. You know, that word alive, that word alive, it, it's present and it's ongoing, isn't it? Just like the great I am, you know, the great I am, it wasn't the great I was, the great, great I am in the present. It's great I am, it's in the present. The great I am, powerful, present, omnipotent God. God is alive. We are alive. And we are alive unto God. We are alive unto God to serve him. We have that newness of life. And that's joy, isn't it? Alive. It's alive in love. Alive in joy. Alive. We are alive unto God. To serve God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yielded. Yielded to the Holy Spirit. You know, when we get baptized in faith, and we walk in faith that we are dead to sin and alive in Christ. That's a faith walk. It's an intentional faith walk yielded to the Holy Spirit, bearing fruit unto God. And, you know, and I asked myself, and we have to ask ourselves, what are we yielding to? You know, in the day-to-day, -day, what are we yielding to? And what are we filling up on? You know, we, we yield to what we think on. When you think about it, like, um, it can be a rabbit trail, can't it? When you're yielded um, to something negative, you, you follow that negative path, right? But when you yield yourself to, you know, what is good, what is pure, what is lovely, what is praiseworthy, you stay on that path. It's what you yield yourself to. And it's intentional. You know, sometimes, you know, you can be following a trail for a long time and realize a little while later, like, wow, my thought, my thought just went down the wrong path there. Um, but it's an intentional yielding, yielding our minds and yielding our bodies. Um you know, even, um, I'll use an example of, of even like, you know, watching TV, you know, um, you yield yourself to that depends on, you know, what you're watching and how much you're watching, you yield yourself to that. It's a choice. You're yielding yourself to that. Um, you know, even like our appetites, right. Um, our appetites to food, you yield yourself to whatever you feed on. Right. Um, you know, sometimes you can, <laughs> You can go to the junk food, right? You can go to, you can go from like eating sweets to salty, sweets to salty. It's whatever you're yielding yourself to, right? But you, but you have, you have that self-control to stop it. We have that self-control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was my question today for all of us to just really be intentional and just ask yourselves, what are, what are you yielding yourself to? You know, when we open up the word of God, 
it's such a holy time. It's such a set apart time, isn't it? When we intentionally read the word in faith, knowing that this word is alive. And when we read it, we're yielding to the Holy Spirit and we're filling up with the Holy Spirit. We're filling up with truth. We're filling up with life. We're filling up with the newness of life. Hallelujah. We are what we yield ourselves to. It's intentional. Hallelujah. I'm going to go on to Romans 6, 21 to 23. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. You know, what fruit are we bearing? You know, what fruit are we bearing? We know that we're yielded to the flesh when, you know, when, when, when there's no fruit, you know, if you're in anxiety, if you're in um, anxiousness, if you're in fear, if you're yielding to that. There's no fruit in it. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, you have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. It's what you abide yourself in. What's whatever, what's whatever you're abiding to, whatever you're yielding to. The fruit unto holiness. Hallelujah. In Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. You know, at any time of the day, you can check yourself. Am I walking in the spirit? You know, am I, am I, am I, you know, walking in love right now? Am I walking in joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance? You know, um, it's a good check. It's a good check, isn't it, during the day? Am I walking in the spirit or am I walking in the flesh? And the newness of life, being alive, is walking in the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 I think this is the last scripture. Yep, Revelation 4.10. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. I like to be reminded of this, that we were all created for the Lord's pleasure. He takes pleasure in us. And, you know, like the flowers, you know, he created the flowers and we get to enjoy them, right? We get to enjoy his creation and it reminds us of his love for us. Those flowers speak of his beauty, of his glory, of his love to us. He creates beautiful things down here for us to enjoy. And he also takes pleasure in the flowers and how much more he takes pleasure in us. My sisters and brothers, he takes such pleasure in you. Hallelujah. And when you're yielded to him, you hear his beautiful words to you. You know, my loved one, my precious dove, you know, his intimate, his intimate words to only you. You hear them when you're yielded to him. Hallelujah. He wants to have pleasure. He takes pleasure in us. He takes pleasure. May we walk out in this day today, just being consciously aware of it, that communion, that abiding with him, that, you know, when we walk in the fruit of the spirit, how he takes pleasure in that, our good, good father. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I just thank you, God. I thank you, Father God, for this word. To be reminded, Lord God, that we are dead to sin and alive in Christ. We are alive. We are alive and we, we walk out our lives through Jesus, through his righteousness. Hallelujah. 
to be witnesses unto you down here, Lord God. May you have your way in our lives, Holy Spirit. May you quicken us. May you quicken our bodies. May you quicken us, Holy Spirit, unto things of life, unto things of holiness. May you quicken us. May you help us to stay yielded unto you, Lord God. And to be alive, to be alive unto you, God. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.